Welcome to the first episode of this ProTracker tutorial. If you're new to ProTracker, I suggest you watch my introduction first. It's time to play with speed and tempo. The F command is split up into two sections. It's F01 through F1F and F20 through FFF. And here is how to use them. First, let me put some notes in this track. The default speed for ProTracker is F06, so if I hit play or the shortcut the Amiga button it will sound like this. So if I change this to F01 it will sound like this. It's really really fast. And if I change it to F1F it sounds like this. It's really really slow. And it doesn't matter in which track you put these commands because all the tracks are going in the same speed. So, if you want to go back to the F06 default speed of ProTracker, you can't just delete the command like this. Because ProTracker will remember the last command you defined, so it sounds like this. So let me go back here and put F06 again and hit play. That's better. Now, let's talk about the other interval. As you may have noticed, the BPM tempo of the song is 125, no matter what speed we're going in. It's the default tempo of ProTracker. To change this, we need to use the higher values of F. So 125 is represented by the number F7D. So this doesn't really change anything. But I would like to increase the BPM to 127, so I'll increase the F7D to F7F and hit play. And as you can see, the tempo is now 127. Unless you want your song to keep looping over and over again, it's always a good idea to put an F00 at the end of the song. This will tell ProTracker to stop playing. Just make sure you don't have any looping samples, because they will continue to play even if the pattern is stopped. Even if you decide to go with the F06 default speed and F7D default tempo of 125 BPM, you should always define this in the beginning of your song. Although it's not necessary, it will tell people that you actually intended the song to go in F06 and the speed of 125. Let me show you something different. I'm going to clear everything we've done with a clear button like this. I'm going to clear all and now we're back where we started again. I'll go to my disk options, load the sample bass drum 1 as raw, exit the dialog and enter some notes on this track. Next I would like to load another sample. Go to my disk options, load sample snare 1. Load as raw, exit. I'm going to put the sample on the positions 8 and 24 and hit play. I can use the F command to make this sound funky. Let me show you. I'm going to put F08 up here and I'm going to change the speed to F04 right away and go back to F08 and so on and so forth. Then it will sound like this. Although this sounds cool and all, there is a downside to it. Now you have an effect column filled with F commands and little room for more commands, like the C command, which is the next episode, so I'll see you there.